All right, guys, in this episode, I'm going to be demonstrating a new feature in Premiere Pro that is called the Morph Cut. It's really built for shooting, for editing interviews. If you've got interviews that you've shot and you don't have enough B-roll to cover those interviews, portions that you're going to be cutting out, you're going to have jump cuts. Let's show you some an example of a jump cut here in an instance where we might need to use a Morph Cut. All right, so, so briefly, briefly describing Brandon, Brandon, I'd have to say he's, he's, he's loud. loud. Okay, so right here with this interview. Right, so, so briefly describing Brandon, I'd have to say he's he's loud. So we've got this portion where he pauses a little bit. I know there's a little bit nitpicky because it's kind of natural, but say we want to speed this up a little bit. Or I'm going to, and he says he's twice. He's. I'm going to eliminate one of these he's and that actual pause right there. Describing Brandon, I'd have to say he. So I'm going to get right before he says he's. <laughs> I'm going to find that portion right where he starts saying he, I'm going to, and I'm going to do control K and cut. He's. And right there he starts saying he's again. So I'm going to take this portion and delete it. The he's, the redundant he's, and the pause. I'm going to hit Q and do a ripple edit on this portion right there. So I just cleaned out that portion right there as we play through this. That's he's loud. loud. Okay. And I'm going to get this so it's kind of smooth here on my audio. I'm just going to add a little bit of a crossfade here. Control Shift D on that edit as the crossfade. I'm going to turn this, make this really short so it makes it sound natural. He's loud. There we go. And I'm going to just preserve a little portion of this. I'm going to grab and hit Y and trim that over one frame. One or, let's try two frames. He's loud. There we go. And that looks a little bit better. So I've eliminated that portion. But right now, this is an obvious jump cut. So watch this as we play through it. He's loud. See that little jump right there? To be honest, the, the morph cut works a lot better. What it tries to do is it tries to blend, do frame blending between these two to make it look like there is no cut there. The more movement you have on an edit, the less successful the morph cut's going to be. It's really good on something like this, where there's not a whole lot of change, dynamic change in the actual image. Say he's loud. See, and on that, you can barely see the jump cut. So this will perform it quite well. Under effects and video transitions and dissolve, you will find the morph cut right there. And if, in fact, if you're just looking for it, you can just click in this little search engine and type morph, and boom, there it is right there. Now drag that and drop that onto as a, as a transition between these two clips. It's going to analyze this now. Right now it is analyzing. This will stay blanked out until it's finished. And once that's finished, as long as Premiere Pro recognizes your video card, it will render this and it will turn it yellow. I'd have to say, he's loud. And depending on your video card, this might not be rendered or not. But what, so what I'm going to do is go up to sequence and go to render in and out. Actually, the shortcut is enter. You can just hit enter and it's going to render that. And sometimes if this is doing a real-time playback, a real-time render, it'll lag a little bit. And it won't really reflect what it's going to look like with the morph cut. It's still kind of in its infancy with its, this new effect. But let's play through that and watch now. And I'd have to say, he's, he's loud. loud. He's out. And actually, that looked pretty good, but I can see the mouth it turn, it gets a little bit off. So I'm going to grab this morph cut and turn it down. Sometimes you just have to play with these and get it to the right length. Let's render that again. All right. So, so briefly, briefly describing Brandon, Brandon, I'd have to say, he's, he's loud. loud. It's still analyzing the background there. Okay. It's done analyzing. I'm going to hit return. All right. All right. So, so briefly, briefly describing, describing Brandon, Brandon, I'd have to say, he's, he's loud. loud. He's and that looks a lot better. So we kind of got rid of that cut, and that looks very natural. Let's try one more. His money problems will disappear. What do you like about your character? You know, um, the thing that I like most about my character... Okay, and here's a portion. Let's try a little bit more of a difficult cut, where another question is asked. I'm going to get to the end of his phrase here. Cut. Control K to cut. What do you like about your character? You know, um, so the you know and um I'm going to get rid of as well. We're going to hit Q and it will edit this portion. We'll ripple edit from here to the left and clear out all that and do a ripple edit. Q, got rid of that portion there. Let's grab our morph cut. Try it again. Drop it on there. Let it analyze and let's let it sit for a minute and then we'll see what the result is. Okay, it's finished. So I'm going to hit enter and, re and render it. All right, so, so once we, it's through rendering, let's take a look at it. Will disappear. The thing, thing that I like, I like most, most about my And that actually worked really well there, so. Will disappear. The thing, thing that, that I, I like most, most about my character. And it even kind of captured that movement and blended it in, did a good frame blend with it where it looked good. Now, sometimes three kind of different things you might do here to get this to, to work better. The first thing you can do if, if it's not working quite well is try shrinking it. Try shrinking it and seeing it, cut it in maybe in half and see what different lengths do to your clip. Sometimes it might need a, a quicker morph cut. Sometimes it might need a little bit longer morph cut. So you might want to try different lengths and see what you get.
Also, a couple other things that you can do is slide this. Once you've got it to a certain length, you can try sliding it to the left more, and that will start the morph cut earlier on this clip, or the third thing is sliding it to the right, and then it will start it later on this clip. Depending on what you're doing, sometimes this will work as well. If the look is not looking natural after you render it, oftentimes what you have to do is move it or shrink it, move it to the left, move it to the right, or a combination of uh, any of those three there, and see what you get. And sometimes there's just some instances where there's too much movement and it just won't work. It's not a cure-all, but uh, it does help in, in many instances. Let's render that and see what it looks like. It will disappear. Think thing about I like most. See, and I moved that to the right, and now it doesn't work. It worked much better in the middle. And oftentimes, it will work the best in the middle. But anyway, this is just something you have to experiment with and see what works. Sometimes it's a, it's a lifesaver, and sometimes it just won't work. So if you have any questions, post them, and I'll get back with you. Thank you.